Hey guys, so I just finished spending a few hours at the Lady Smith Public Library. I charged up my two power stations and we are at like 60% like on one and 70% on the other. Could have stayed a couple more hours to finish those off, but it was a really small branch so I didn't really want to take up the table, even though it wasn't that busy. But it was just really fun sitting in and I ended up forgetting my headphones. So I was just like listening to all the locals and people come in and out and how friendly they were and how everyone knew each other and everyone just like giving them heads up about, I, I don't know, it was just like such a community, nice feeling. And I really got jealous of the, the librarian's job because he was a really nice guy too. I'm just parked on a kind of a busy street I really want to walk around for like an hour before the sun sets. Tomorrow I want to do a trail that's really close to here. So I'm excited for that, but I don't have enough time to do it today. Even though it might be raining tomorrow, it might just be a rain jacket trail day. So yeah, I've been having a good, good recharge day. And I also found a lot area that's completely empty and it would be a good option for me to drive to to sleep in tonight. But maybe we'll find a better spot now when we go look around. It's kind of chilly today. I'm gonna try to find my gloves before I go. I'm really not that cold. I actually have my hot water bottle under here and that helps a lot. Uh, it does make me just like wanna sit and not move around though, which I don't like. So I'm gonna go move around now while there's still daylight. Oh, by the way, today is winter solstice, so tomorrow the day is going to be longer. Already, bam, that was winter, over. <sighs> I think technically it becomes winter, but I don't know. When we're on the the up, we, we won. When the worst is behind us, I'm so happy. So yeah, I think this, the earliest sunset that I saw this year was like 4.17, I think. Maybe it's earlier today, but I've been slowly moving south and the more south you go, the later the sun will set, I think. And then when I was up north, it was setting earlier, like a little bit, just by a few minutes. I don't know if that's true, but I think that's what the situation is. Lady Smith is holding a beautiful Festival of Lights. So many colors. And this is a great way to see this town for the first time. Pretty stoked about it. It's gonna look really great at nighttime, I can assure. The sun shall be setting within the hour. It's like a really busy Stars Hollow with mountains. Little did I know that I was stumbling across this huge festival right now. Of course, Vancouver Island would add a little bit of a bonus. I honestly should just wait until it's dark, but whatever. I got a coffee, so I'm good for quite a while. Gonna find a cute spot. So they have this really steep hill here, which gets a nice view of the water and the mountains and the trees and all that, but it was also tiring to walk up. <laughs> Just kidding. It's awesome. I love how ominous this Christmas vibe is. It's like ominous a Christmas. This feels like a true British Columbia town. All of these steep, steep hills and creativity with these houses. Also the main street, it's very branded Ladysmith. Everything was Ladysmith. <laughs> Ladysmith Trading, Ladysmith Bakery, Ladysmith CrossFit. <laughs> like, that's cool. I like it. It's a good name, it's a good name. This area just looks so sick. Yeah, I'm gonna like sit on these chairs or something. Or these stairs, these bleachers. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here and drink my coffee for a bit. Just sit here for like 15 minutes. 
wait for it to darken, and then go walk through the Christmas lights again. I haven't done anything Christmassy until now, so it's fun. You want to play human sized chess? humongous Christmas tree. This makes up for me not having one. I visited this like a hundred story foot one. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this is like the center of all of the light festival and decorations and stuff. They have a big present box popping out stars, which is cool. And all these twinkling lights, every store had them in so many of the houses. Merry Christmas, everybody. of the problem that I had in my last video where everything was too dark. I guess it's also the opposite of a problem because it's a really nice walk. So that was a stupid thing to say, but oh my god. <laughs> you guys, I was saw Lady Smith Dental, just saying. While walking down this main street, this town just seems so picture perfect. They had their old town bakery and some a baker was baking his cake in the window and just all the lit up windows look so nice. You could see Christmas trees everywhere. Everywhere I looked, it just gave me a different sensation. So it was really enjoyable to walk back and forth. I might've done this three or four times, but it was definitely worth the time to appreciate the season and appreciate the end of this year, appreciate the holidays and the darkness slowly going away. This past year, I've lived in a way that I've never tried before. And there was a lot of adjustments, a lot of things that I got used to. One of the biggest things that tricked me about this is that I kept telling myself I'm going to be able to visit all my friends and actually see them because I have a van and I can travel to them and I'll have more time for that. But when I decided to leave the province and see more of Canada, I was committing to spending this Christmas in a new place that I've never been and not with all my familiar faces and friends and family. So it's a very different experience this year. 
I'm really grateful that I was able to walk through this festival of lights to at least feel a little bit of the spirit of Christmas. But spending this time by myself has definitely shown what's important to me. Wherever you guys are, have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy today, enjoy your present moment, and remember all the happiness that you feel. I really like this intersection too. These blue and white trees kind of look like mushrooms. And it just has a good view of up the hill. So I'm snug up in here <laughs> with my hot water bottle and I'm actually really cozy and I'm actually very tired after that walk. Just walking around all day. I need to make dinner for myself, but I'm so tired I could just fall asleep here. Uh, it was such a nice walk and I love watching the cars go by and all these pretty lights from my van. This is so fun, so Christmassy. Today started with bright red and blue lights randomly out in the middle of the forest with those cop cars and ended with mm, the city of lights, festival of lights, red, blue, light blue, green, yellow, pink, purple. Thank you for joining me today. Hope everyone had a good solstice and a happy day is getting longer, summer. Slowly the warmth and the sun comes back. Yay! <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, enough playing with the light. Time to go to bed.